Hey, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to take a look at a song by Christopher Cross called Sailing. Now the thing about this song is this is in an open D tuning. I've seen an interview where Christopher Cross said that he had this guitar laying around that he kept in open D tuning because he liked playing Joni Mitchell songs and he wrote it with the open D tuning. So tune your guitars up to open D. What we have is we have D, A, D, F sharp, A, D. So real quickly, let's tune the two E strings down to D, tune the B string to A, and tune your G to an F sharp. And then we're ready to go. Now I'm going to try to show you this as quickly as I can because I don't like to spend all day on it. And I don't even know if I'm going to tell you what the chord names are because they're irrelevant here. If I tell you that this first chord is like a D add 9 sharp 11, that doesn't help you. It's better just for me to show you how the song goes. The main structure of this is going to be D, F sharp, to A. And then A for another bar. All right, and that is the structure of the verses. Now, verse 1 and 3 are the same, but verse 2 in the middle is a little different. And actually, verse 1 is a double verse. So here's how we play the song. The song starts off, we're going to play like an A sus 2 chord, so you have the 2nd fret on the 3rd and 4th string. And we're going to play the 2nd and 6th string together. And then 3... So we have this. Alright, so it's 6 and 2, 3, 4, then 2, 3, 4. Then we're going to lift up our ring finger and have that open G string, which is an open F sharp string now, and we're going to play the same thing. So together it's this. The second chord is probably the trickiest of them, and so we're going to play like that A sus 2 again, but using our first two fingers, and our pinky is going to be on the G sharp. So the sound is going to be like... And again, this G sharp is really an F sharp, so again, just fourth fret, you figure it out. The second chord here is where it gets tricky. We flatten the first finger, and we put this middle finger on the third fret of the G string and we play. So it's. The next shape is with the A string open and we're going to play basically like an A chord and we play. So. And now middle fingers on the third fret of the G string and your either your pinky, it's easy with the pinky, on the fourth fret of the second string. So, so that's and again another bar of that. And then it goes right in with the verse, and that verse just plays that over and over again. So I'm just going to play it once through, and then we're going to move into the chorus. does that again because it's a double verse. Now we go to the chorus. So the chorus starts with this same sailing. And then we go to the first chord in the whole song. Now, the next chord is going to be a moving chord, and so what we're going to play is 9th fret with the ring finger, P, 
pinky on the ninth fret on the A string, first finger on the seventh fret of the D string, middle finger on the eighth fret of the G string. So we have, okay, and then we have the open B and E string. And so we go. Now we slide this down to the fourth fret, and we're going to bar this now instead of leaving those strings open. Now I've seen him play it and he keeps it open, but on the record, it sounds like it goes up, so I play it this way. All right, so that's fourth fret, fourth fret, second fret, third fret, second fret, second fret. Then we go up to the 11th fret here, and I'm only going up to the third string. And then you play the first part of the song. And that takes us into verse two. Now verse two is different in the respect that it just plays one shape over and over again, but uses those bass notes. So we're going to play this part. over all three bass notes. So it starts off like Two. And that takes us up to the bridge. And the bridge is really simple. We're going to go through the bridge rather quickly. There's a beautiful piano part. And when I do this in my duo, he plays it on piano. I don't play any of the lead notes. I'm playing what the guitar plays. And so we're going to bar the seventh fret. And we're going to put our ring finger ninth fret of the fourth string. And we're going to skip the fifth string, although we kind of play it as a power. Like that, so it's like. third, fifth, to the first, third, and then when we get here we're going to play using the third string and our middle finger for the sus. And then it repeats but up here on the tenth fret, sixth fret, eighth fret, 3rd fret, 5th fret, and then the 7th fret in the same, and then it goes right back to verse 3, which is the same as verse 1. And it does all that again, it does the chorus again, and then it just ends on this. Folks, that is how you play Sailing. It is a gorgeous song. It's one of my all-time favorites. I hope you don't have any questions about it because I'm not answering any. In fact, I know you dig it. I dig it. We all dig it very good.